Hi everyone, Ben Mechanic Shop here. So you have a drum and you have a broken mirror like this. I'll show you how to fix that right now. Okay, so first thing first, you have to go get yourself a mirror. I had to go get it at uh, the dealership because uh, I couldn't find an aftermarket for this. So that's what the new mirror looks like. So there's clips at the back. So here you can see that those clips here will click in and then those clips here those are for the top so for the top you push it in and it clicks in so we're going to remove this one and then we'll pop this one up right after so just so that you guys know what to expect uh, this mirror here is expensive from the dealer it's uh, the Mopar part there so it was a uh, hundred dollars Canadian plus tax to buy this so the first thing you do is you push it so it goes all the way down like this. Now that you have the mirror all the way down like this, you're going to put your fingers in the back and pry it. Uh, I'll put the phone down because it's better if you pry from both sides at the same time. Put your fingers in the back of it and you just pull. Now that unclips the top of it. I'll show you. So what we just did by pulling it, it's, you see those, can you guys see those tab in here? And then there's one on the other side here, if it can focus, that's it there. So those two tabs on the new mirror, that's those two top one. This one and that one. So those, they just, they just hook in here. All right. And then now, just have to be careful with the wire here. So now that it's like this, you can just lift the mirror up. We go a little bit. There we go. Now we just take it out of those tab here by lifting it a bit and then bring it back out like that so now the only thing that we have to do because those are eaten mirror so we just have to undo those two connection here and then uh, yeah that's it we can take it out you'll have to reuse those two clips uh, those clips here it's just for the position sensor so that the mirror knows when it rotates where to stop. So I'll we'll have to reuse those two clips on the new mirror. Okay, so now we're just on clipping with two wire. Doesn't matter if it's left or right when you put it back in because it because uh, uh, it just runs the power right through. So it doesn't matter which way it's coming which way it's going there you go so now i had to wiggle those two like this if you can see that so now to remove those those are pretty easy here so you just have to lift it above the little pin there's a little pin i don't know if you can see that if i can move it here it's a little pin here so you just need to move this and slide above oh, i just did one isn't on camera though. So anyway, I'll push it back and I'll show you again. So you lift the lift the edge up and then you pull towards you and then it just slides right out. Those are the exact same size, so it doesn't matter which one you put the way on. Same here, pull this up and slide it out. Okay, so now we're gonna install them on the new mirror and pop it in. So here's our brand new mirror. So those pins, they go here. Just slide it in, push it. It doesn't really sound like it's clicking, but as long as you pass those little pin here, then you're good. Okay, so now the first thing that we want to do so we'll bring the mirror 
in like this and then we're trying to get it close to the pin but we're going to connect our wire here too so let's connect our wire one wire connected two wire connected okay so now we'll have to clip into here Okay, so now to clip it and raise the mirror in an angle a little bit, it's gonna hit here. So you need to go underneath this bracket here. So a little bit in an angle. Now they're not, they're just started, but they're not clipped in. So now we're gonna push the mirror in. Okay, and now I can start raising it. Oh, I just have to go a little bit further. Oh, there you go. You heard it click there. So now your mirror can pivot. Don't force it, like push like this. If it doesn't go like that, that's because the pins are not in far enough. So you have to push it down more. Okay, and now that it's like that, the only thing you have to do is just push it back up uh, those those two pins here they go on this slide into the inside of those bracket here okay so when you push it make sure that those pins are gonna go underneath see this one's not going underneath it's going above so I just have to push it to make sure it's going underneath like that same for this one push it down a bit okay so now the mirrors against the bracket here and we're just gonna give it the push from each side there we go now you heard that click and now it's nice and solid in here so that's all there is to it to uh replace those mirror just try it to make sure that everything turns properly okay so now I'm in the truck put the left mirror because it's the one we just changed the driver side passenger side is gonna be the exact same so now we're just gonna activate side to side and up and down and make sure that everything moves properly okay left side perfect right side perfect now put it back in the center we're gonna go up and we're going to go back down and then you want to make sure that you do this last step because that's gonna show you that you end up putting those little guiding pin at the proper spot if they're not at the proper spot and you didn't put it underneath the bracket, then that mirror is not going to move properly or it's going to catch. Okay? Perfect. Okay, so now we're done replacing that mirror. Everything went perfect, good, fast. Hopefully you find that video useful. And then uh, please click like and subscribe. I got a lot more video like this coming up.